Completing Outlast is already a heart attack simulator, but what if you wanted something to put you into the psych ward? Well, thanks to Outlast, there is a difficulty that has you covered. This is called Insane Mode, where you have to navigate the horrors of the insane asylum. While one to two hits means you have to restart the game all the way from the beginning. Even knowing this, I still wanted this impossible achievement for what you get for beating this mode, called Energizer. Where you only have one battery, you cannot reload this battery. If you run out of battery, you run out. You can't reload the battery. If you reload the battery, you can't get this achievement. This is what makes it so difficult. So after doing no due diligence, watching no guides, no tutorials, I thought I was ready to complete this. But boy, oh I was wrong. To begin the game, we are playing as Miles Upshur, a journalist who got a tip off from someone inside the asylum. So, if this is you, and you're popping up into a car, you, you see this report, you pull up to this location, and you see this facade, you're booking it out of there. But you know what they say, white people in horror movies. So I found a way into the asylum, this is not sketchy at all, a broken window, then the lights go out straight away, trying to scare you early on, and then this happens when you walk into this room. Like, what the frick? Okay, made it to the, you know, the air vent that has blood dripping out of it. Pretty smart if you ask me, then we see this freak, this creepy prick. Look at him. Don't know what he was doing in that bathroom, but something sus. Know what I mean? Like, I don't know what he was doing in there. But here is where we get our first jump scare. Don't know how he's screwing without a head. But... And now we get to see the first side of Piggy Piggy, aka Los Polos, the fat, obese whale pig. And here we go, and he's gonna get us. You are one ugly mother, I'm not gonna lie. And you're massive. Then we get to this bucktooth prick. The priest. You know, our lights are out, we don't know what he did to us. Did he fondle us? Did he, did he fiddle us? You can't trust priests these days. Because, you know, they do sus stuff as well. But we see a dead body. we have got to run straight through this door. We see where the key cut is on a dead body without a head. But, oh, his neck snapped, he's got a head at least. And we walk in here, we see this freaky prick. God damn it. Like, he's saying the doctor is dead. Like, you know this guy stinks. Like, he hasn't had a bath in probably, like, 10 years, maybe 5. After breaking that guy's ribs, I snapped his ribs out and went straight to the security room with my key card. And you see that? I don't know how that guy didn't see me, by the way. Like, you think he just attacked me on, like, out of nowhere. I'm going to skip through this part because, obviously... That guy's going to turn off the power and we're going to wait for Piggy Piggy. He's going to come and kick down the door real quick. Yeah, he thinks there's a burger. This ain't a McDonald's, mate. There's no McDonald's in here, man. It's just my flesh. He ain't getting it. I outran the fat prick and now I'm going to go down into the basement. Not sketchy at all to go turn on the power. I was trying to look behind me because I'm like... Don't know who's behind me. Maybe he teleported towards me. Maybe he's saying it smelled a burger. And we're going to go through here and just turn on... The two pumps. So we're going to do the first pump and the second pump in succession before he breaks down that door. Because I've died to this point like three or four times. And I ain't dying anymore to this mother... So we're going to break down this door. We're going to close it. Turn on the pump. And then I'm going to hide behind a barrel so he can't get me. Because you know what I mean? I'm going to hide behind this barrel. When he gets up to the past the point, And he, he's already past there. So I'm going to sneak behind. He doesn't even hear me. Quickly go down here and go to the third and final, this is the valve, I put the two pumps on. I don't know why he just didn't turn off the pumps, like, maybe that would have, he probably actually believes in ghosts, I guess. But I go here and I slam the door behind me, and I turn on the generator. Okay, I'm hiding behind the door, when he busts through here, he's going to bust through them guts. Once he busts in me, I'm going to run, I'm running quickly, going to go around the side. I'm using too much battery right here, by the way, and I don't like it. Because you need your battery. You can't reload your battery once. Once you use this battery, it's over. That is the achievement. You can't use the battery. It's on insane mode. One to two hits. You are done for, man. You are done for, buddy. Okay. Let's go on to the next set. Are you f kidding me, man? Like, why do my games have all the, f the glitches? Okay. Take number two. I swear, every game that I play has all the glitches. I went to the toilet. I came back. And that shit happens. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, okay. Like, and great. 
We've got this prick. Drugging us up. I'm sorry, trying to fondle us once again. I, didn't want to have to do this. I don't know what to say, look. I'm not your son. I don't like men touching me. And look at look at him. Would you like this guy staring at you? And holding your face? And showing you the SWAT team getting assassinated by a ghost? Like, how do you get out of here? So we wake up in the priest's... Uh, what is this? Jail cell? Obviously dazed. Hopefully that's just the drugs and nothing else. Hopefully I can walk perfectly fine. That's all I'm praying for is I can walk straight without a pain in the behind. That's all I ask for. That's all anyone asks for when they get kidnapped by a priest, by the way. That's all they that's all they care about is not being fondled, be able to walk perfectly straight. And I'm waiting for this guy to push the door open because I don't know why he lets me out. He could have just left me in here. I'm not gonna record in the notes, not gonna catch all the documents. And with this is the first point we see the dingling boys. Maybe. The dingling twins. You wanna see the two dinglings? Maybe I'll blur it out, maybe I'm not. I don't want to get banned. But maybe they should wear some pants. They've got little danglings. And no one wants to see it. No one wants to see two twins walking around little danglings. Let's be real. Oh, we're going to follow the blood and go into here. We don't know if we need gas, but it's just a decontamination center so the ghost can't get us. This guy is going to tell us to go down the drain. Now, I've got to remember to push this door open. And... Just before, I'm not going for claustrophobe, I've already got that one, that's another hard achievement, I, you can do that on easy difficulty. This one you have to do on insane mode, that's why I chose this achievement. But right here, I have to open this door, and wiggle my booty, a little bit, he's not following me, he doesn't, no sound's gonna come on. Okay, the, the music's not popping on, so I'm just gonna quickly go hide anyway, just in case. And I gotta wait for the him to open that door, you hear him open it and close behind him, so I'm gonna hide underneath his bed. And we're going to wake this guy up. Okay, I waited him out. Now I'm going to go turn on the... What is this? The gate? The decontamination chamber. And right here, this guy's going to hit me. So I've got to be careful here. Because then they can hit me once. These guys can hit you once. The big piggy piggy dude. He can only hit you once. You're done for. You're done. Like... That's that's the crazy part. Because he's so much bigger. He's like 10 times bigger than these guys. I like how there's this blood everywhere, by the way. Like, that's pretty sick. Alright, now the dingling twins, back again, I've got to run away from them, and i got to go into the showers, and guess who's in his showers here, boys? Guess who's in the showers? The dingling twins, the dingling twins, the little dinglings. Can't say what they really are, because, you know, get banned. And we're going to open this door really quick, and the fat boy's going to come after us. So, we're going to turn this on real quick, he's going to... Bust through there, and we're gonna go up to into the vent because you know he's only skinny people go in the vent. He can't, he can't fit. So we're gonna quickly crawl before he figures out where I am because I don't want to die. Because if you die, you have to restart the game all over again, and I don't want to do this. this is like my fifteenth attempt. I don't want to stuff this up. And we fall out of a window and fall onto some dead bodies. Not very much, not very appetizing, not very nice to see. But, and guess what? You guessed it. Fat boy's back down here. Now I have to get over this hump. I'm using too much battery, but I don't want to die. So I'm going to turn on my night vision. Jump over this railing. And that's, that music gets me every time. He feels like he's right behind you. Like he's on your neck. Like you're in a haunted house with a ghost on your back. I don't like it. And I'm obviously I'm faster. Faster, better, stronger. I'm not stronger than him, obviously. I don't know why I said stronger. He's way stronger than me, but I'm faster. I'm better. It's skinnier, by the way. He can't fit through there, so... We're safe. Cheap attempt of the jump scare. Probably got probably got me on my first ever playthrough of this game. Probably used as well. Some of these jump scares are, like, really scary. It's probably the scariest game in... Another jump scare. This is my favorite horror game, by the way. I haven't played this for seven... What is it? Eight years it came out. I tried to do this achievement eight years ago or seven years ago, and I failed miserably. I got to like one of the. I'll talk about it when I get there, but I I got to so far, so close, so far, whatever you want to say. So I'm gonna. This actually took me like seven, eight years to get this achievement. I'm silky, and this guy's gonna grab me. I don't know why, but he's not gonna be able to do it. He should have just pushed me. Like why not just push me? 
go into this jail cell and I have to run down here. Now, this is just pit black. I can't use any, any camera. If you're playing this and you want to get this achievement, remember, left is always the way to go in this game keep going i just keep going left 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 throughout the darkness and i eventually got there as you see i got there in a way find a way out of the sewers and here we are pushing through this section and we see him guess who we're seeing again boys we're seeing piggy piggy we're seeing big titty big titty los polos gonna go right he doesn't see me anyway jump over this and i think it's a valve i think there's two valves one for the female ward and one for the male ward they should have utilized the female ward a bit better. That would have been pretty cool. Except for just using the the, fe the male ward. Now I've got to hide behind this shelving unit. I think it is, yeah. Before we bust down the door. And now he's busting it down. And here, I can just wait him out. Once he goes towards the locker, I can just bolt away. I'm just going to bolt through this door really quickly. He won't be able to see me. And I'm going to go down to the other valve. Now... This other, this one, this section, in my opinion, is pretty, pretty easy, pretty mediocre. But as I said, this is like my 15th run, so I've known most of the routes by now. And I'm trying something new, I'm trying to jump, jump along, jump, jump up and down and everything. But if you're doing this, it's going to take you like, took me about, this is my 15th attempt, took me about 20, I'm probably, probably going to take me like 20, 25, maybe, I wouldn't say 25, it's probably 20 max. Because once you get the route in your head, you be able to get it down pat. Like, it's like a speed run. You're trying to speed run a game. You're going to keep playing it and playing it and playing it. Memorize the routes. Memorize where you can cut time. It's similar to that. But this is a horror game, so it's even harder. Because you feel like someone's barreling down in your back. And it's really, really crazy. Okay. Now, what we have to do here. Now, he either goes right or he goes straight ahead. If he goes right, we're chilling. If he goes straight ahead, it's a waiting game. you got to crawl behind him and go slow. But if he goes right like this way... You wait for him to get past that black, whatever that is, and he see me, I'm gone. I'm not getting chased down. And once you get past this point, you're pretty safe. Because once you hit the ladder here, you're already out of out of harm's way. And here, all I have to do is follow the raindrops. Once I follow the raindrops, I find the ladder. I don't have to use any light here, any camera. That's the way to save. Now, I've gone up to... I found it without using any battery. And this prick is looking down at me. He thinks he's God, but I don't know why he looks down at me when nothing, I don't think anything happens. I'm pretty sure nothing happens. I'm praying nothing happens, but yeah, nothing happens. I don't know why he even looked down at me. Now this part, this is my least favorite part other than the outside area in the game because you got to navigate in the dark. Obviously I'm not going to use, I'll probably use a little bit of camera. I don't want to use too much of it because it's just going on boxes going left 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 okay this is my least favorite part in the game as i was talking about here we have to be so quiet before the fat prick fat piggy piggy hears me so if i crouch in the water here and stick to this left wall and once i get to this light ahead of me all i have to have is the the place i want to be on to my right because i've died here a couple of times and this is why it's my least favorite because as soon as you get to the spot you want to get to, he teleports. I don't know how he teleports, but we'll see. And I'm just hoping that I can get this this time because hear the music, it's so dramatic. And I've got a lot of battery left, so I'm going to flicker it on and off, flicker it on and off. I don't want to use too much. I'm pretty sure if I don't use too much battery, I just have to use battery here and the outside part in the first half half of the game but if you see from the right side once they get to this section here i'm chill i'm trying i'm just trying to make sure he's not around me but once they get here this is where it gets me because it feels like he's right on me and i want to mess this jump up i messed the jump up quick get up get up get up get up get up i gotta run jump on the ladder i thought i missed it i thought i missed it i panic i panic at that point every single time okay now this I just have to outrun this prick. <laughs> I just have to outrun him. So I'm going to dodge him. He won't be able to get me. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I don't want to die here. Please no. Please no. Please. <coughs> Please no. God damn it, man. Why? Why, man? God damn it. Okay. It's the next, it's the next day. It's the next day. I have to take a break. 
It's the next day. Now, this time, right from to get really close, I'm gone. I'm Usain Bolton and out of here. I'm, putting, I'm turning on the jets. I'm gone. I'm gonna keep running, keep running, keep going left. As I said, left is the best way in this game to avoid any and all enemies. Okay, this is where we were before, like when we seen Picky Picky and we fell down to the dead bodies. We could have just gone through that door, would have been helpful. You know what I mean? Would have been really helpful. And now this is actually blind to me. This spot is blind to me. I, know, I think I know this is the chase scene. But other than that, this is the furthest I've been. So, let's see how we go. But this guy has zero pants on, sitting there, and he's mental jack. I don't want anything to do with him, he's blind anyway, it doesn't really matter, but here we go. Once we run down, I always say go left, but you go right, straight here. You see a guy knocking down the door, you would not go through that door. Once I get on this bed and go into the vent, this is where it starts. I remember this scene vividly, because I died on a part in seven, eight, seven years ago trying to go for this originally so we'll see how we go because this is a chase and it's like very very frustrating it's like you feel like someone's right on your heels at all time so i'm gonna remember it's one two it's never one if you do once you can't open the door i'm gonna close every door behind me you don't really have to but i'm doing it precautionary now i don't have to really push this in front of this but I think it's just in case these people glitch through the door. As you've seen, I've already got all the glitches. So I'm going to quickly push this. One. That's one big push. Two big pushes. Once I get out of this door, I'm going to book it. You already know where. Booking it left. Keep going left. Jump over this bed. Now I'm going to go through this crawl space. If you remember the Outlast Whistleblower, there's also a crawl space just like this. So, And now we're going to go, guess what? Which way? Going left. This part, they can actually be on your heels at any point, but this is where I died, right through here. This jump, I remember dying to this jump when I first played the game. I tried to do this seven years ago, I tried to get this achievement, and I died right here. Not again. I'm not dying here. I died at another stupid spot. I'm going to show you later where I died when I first tried to do it, back in the day. But here we go, I'm going to jump over this. You hear them? They want me. They want my booty. I don't know what they want me for. I don't know if they want to, you know army or enemy or I don't know but I'm gonna quickly bust through this door I'm gonna close it and we hear a friendly voice as we think it's a friendly voice you probably remember this guy <laughs> you probably remember this bitch he's hideous he's got no pants on he's pantsless and there he is you old pantsless piece of shit Yeah, I am, bitch. You go into his dungeon, into his lair. This part, you probably, if you've played the game, you've seen the game. I know a lot of people played it in the years, but this part is possibly the hardest part to watch in the whole game. Because you're going to see what's going to happen to you in a second here. Here it is. Fuck me, man. Imagine that. He's gonna slap the shit out of me. I wonder what my fingers look like. Imagine someone cutting your fingers off. You can't grow your fingers back. And look. Lost the ring finger. Like, I'm not raried. And I lost the index finger. I'm supposed to play 2k or this without an index finger, man. I'm gonna quickly shake my shit out of here. I'm gonna get my, my bitch ass out. Look, you see dead body parts, you see blood. Just isn't a pretty picture. He's throwing up. That is not a good... Ugh, I hate the sound of vomit. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm gonna go talk to this bitch. Now, I gotta hide behind... Now, I gotta hide on the right side. Because I don't want to hide underneath the bed. <laughs> because if you hide underneath the bed, he finds you easily. And he, at least, he won't see me because he's going to bust through the door. Right there, he just slams it open. He opens... Mm, hopefully he only opens one door. He opens both, so I can't close it. So I've got to run. Buddy! This is pretty easy. Just <laughs> jump into the vent here. And I'm struggling. Because I knew that as soon as the music stopped... He knew I was already in the vent, so he just stopped chasing me. But here... I have to make sure to push this out of the way and open the door. 
so in the last part I don't get taken because you can get easily taken here so go to the door on the left I gotta shake my booty here so I open this door go back in that room shake my booty try to get me come on mm -mm -mm. teasing him running straight through this room and I gotta close the door so he has Okay, I thought that both doors were open then. I close this door and I quickly go push this out of the way. I haven't got time to waste. I have to push, push, push. Like a pregnant woman having a baby. You gotta push that bitch. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. He's gotta hear me. Get into this vent. There's a lot of vent jumping. He can jump in the vent too. I don't know why he does. This is the last situation. I have to deal with Traeger. Last situation. I'm gonna open this door. And go get my key card. Once I get my key card, or my key, to open the elevator. I'm gonna quickly run towards that room. Hide to the right side. And wait for him to go past that pillar. Once he goes past that pillar, I'm cutting it. I'm putting the jets on, I'm cutting it, Chooks. Go quickly book it. Before he sees me. I'm gone. I'm jumping over my spam and I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm gonna close this. I forgot to close the door. Oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta close it, close it, close it, close it. I gotta run. I know I have to run through this, the left side here. As I said, go left when in doubt. And I'm at the elevator, I'm safe. I am finally safe. But when you think you're safe, you haven't played this game. This is where you think you're safe. But you ain't. This is the first and only time you actually fight in this game. I don't know why he doesn't fight back all the time. I want to get them scissors. If you have them scissors throughout the game, you wouldn't have to really worry. Because you just, I know you're not a fighter. But if you got them scissors, only Fatso could deal with it really, and the ghost. Well, we do lose it. I'm going to go through this air vent. Yep, I found the vent. Once I go through this vent, I'm going on to the next part. I went all the way down to the bottom floor, and I will see Father Martin for the first time, and there he is. Now I'm going to navigate through the dark and quickly go to the next part. I don't know why this guy's trying to light this on fire, but he's not doing, he's doing a pretty good job, but not an incredible job. And as you can see, he's already got half his face is burnt anyway, so what the hell ever. And here we go. Fatso once again. Now we're going to quickly run through here. Now... I gotta close this door so I know he's coming through the door. Now I'm gonna have to juke him. I'm gonna have to juke this fat bitch. Cause I know I'm faster, I know I'm slicker, skinnier, I'm better. And I'm gonna hide behind here. And then I'm gonna shake my booty at the wall there. Okay. Behind here I'm safe. Now I'm gonna see him there. So I should be safe to run past him without him grabbing me. I am freaking safe. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> The fat fuck got me. I've had enough for the night. I'm gonna finish this tomorrow because that is bullshit. I made it back. This is the next day. I made it back from Fatso. I was so pissed off because that fat, that fat prick, he got me. But obviously, he can't he can't go through here because he's fat. Yeah, you're fat. Mm, you fat motherfucker. Oh my god, fat people sometimes. If you're fat, I'm sorry, but look, when I'm getting chased, that's the only thing I can think of. Just squeeze through here, you know, we can't fit through here, and I'm gonna wiggle my booty, wiggle my ass, wiggle my dingling in front of this spotlight so he chases me. Because I know I can get around him, I'm gonna juke this bitch, and here he is. Wait for him to get close, and I'm gone. I am gone with the seconds, I'm gone with the leftovers. He's not even chasing me, I told ya. I'm faster, I'm better, I'm stronger, I'm everything. Maybe he's probably stronger because he's the size of a fucking elephant. We got the we got the sprinklers on. That should be like one of the last times I have to see the fat prick. The fat prick. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of hard spots. Once I get to the fuses, the fuses are the hardest part in this game. Now I'm in the outside part. Now all I have to do here in the outside part is run to the left, get to the shed, get the key. Once I get this key, I'm going to bust through the door, bust through that back door, get the key, we're going to run straight forward, and the ghost, you see him, I'm going to follow the ghost to that door, because he can come inside you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Once you get to this door, you unlock it, Now this time I usually say go left, we're going right this time. I'm going to open the door, I'm going to quickly run back, because the ghost can kill you here, and I ain't taking no chances, I do get stuck on the door there. Okay, now I don't want to die here, so I'm gonna to have to use a little bit more, a little bit more light than I have to, because there is a couple of jumps, and I don't want to stuff this up. 
Okay, here we go. My fuck god. Are you fucking serious? Okay, I'm back again. This time I'm using more luck than I have to. Because I am not doing this again. Alright, I see the light. Hopefully Fatso's not there. Because there is, I can go ring around the rosy. Around the busy. What is it, the gazebo? What, whatever you call it now. And there's Fatso. Now I gotta do ring around the rosy and waste too much battery. I'm below half. And I've got like a quarter of the game to go, like 20 minutes to go. And that's not good, so I'm gonna have to use less battery here. And obviously I'm faster. Not really worried right now, but I do get worried when I have to go through little holes. Because if I don't go through the hole fast, then he's gonna grab me. Okay. Now this is the last hard part in my opinion. Is doing the fuses. Now I don't want to die here. Because if you die there, it's just like... I'm giving up for the next night and I have to come back because that's bullshit if I die there. I'm not doing it. Okay, I had to look up a little tutorial here how to do this. Because I'm not doing this blind. So what I have to do here is run forward and I have to do a little dancey dance with this bitch. Now I have to get the fuse. There's three fuses to get. I just wanted to see this part because I had to do some research on this. So I don't stuff this up because I've made it this far in the game. And the rest of the game I'll go blindfolded. But this part, I have to actually get someone because he's going to run in here. Usually he runs to the bed, but he's not running to the bed this time. He's just standing there, so I have to really run and close this door. Lock him in there. Oh my god. Hopefully he doesn't bust through the door quickly. I'm going to go to the right side first, because that's, that's the way to go. I'm going to go to the right side and get this fuse. Because the other door, I have to lock them both in there. So I'm going to quickly grab this fuse. He shouldn't be there. There's only a, like a 10% chance, apparently, of him being there. And he's fucking there. My fucking god. Oh my god. I'm gonna run through the... Okay. I'm faster than him. I'm gonna close the door. I shouldn't have closed the door on him. I should have just let him chase after me, but... I wanna get this fuse without dying, because this other guy is a psychopath. He's just gonna stare at me. I don't know what the guy in the wheelchair is doing. I don't know if he's dead. I don't know if he's alive. I don't know what... What? But this guy's a psychopath. He's got a machete, by the way. I quickly grab this fuse and look at him. Do you hear him? He's so creepy. Nah, man. If you see someone walking around with a meat cleaver like that, like you have to run. Okay, I have to lock these bitches in. I have to lock these bitches. I have to lock these bitches in. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit too much light here. I know I have to use light. I'm going to close this door. Because I'm going to have to close this door and there's one more, one more freaking door to close. Because they can bust through the doors really quickly. I already he's busting down the second door. I'm gonna quickly bust, close this door and spam. I'm spamming these fuses. I'm spamming, 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 I'm spamming. Not stop until I spam. Give me the key. It drops down. And here I am safe. I'm safe. Okay. I'm safe here. I shouldn't die. Hopefully. Because I wasted so much battery life. And I don't want to, I don't want to fail because... This is just too much to get back to. Okay. I'd never get him away to the key. There will be a there will be a guy jumping out really quickly. As you can see, I've got literally no battery left. So I'm scared. Because I don't want to roam around without a battery life. I have to let me catch my breath. Okay, I gotta quickly jump over this without dying. <sighs> Take my time like the honest dental combo with the free throw line. And I did it. Okay, that is the hard Part, the last hard part in my opinion okay I've, this is the part where I I didn't jump properly when I first ever attempted this back in like seven eight years whenever this game first came out so this is how long I've been waiting to do this achievement seven or eight years to do this achievement this is where I failed I ain't failing again I'm pushing I'm pushing sprint pushing up on the stick I am jumping for my life that's not too scary, he's gonna jump on these beds. The ghost is gonna show me the way. Okay, now. I don't wanna waste too much battery here. But I do have to turn the battery on to see the dingling bitches. Because they ain't get me with the dingling. It's a little dingling. My little dingling. Nope. I don't think they chase me anyway as soon as I jump over this. So they shouldn't chase me. Now this part. Now this part is gonna get me because you're not gonna have. You're not going to have a battery. You're not going to have a camera here. So, 
I know no one can touch you without the camera, so the game actually lets you be safe. But there's going to be some difficulties navigating without that camera. So I'm going to see if I can do it. Because I'm pretty sure I, I said the fuse part was a last, last hard part, but like these are like mediocre hard parts, <laughs> obviously. I've got like 15 minutes left of the game and I finished. This is attempt number 15, as I said. Let's go get my camera. You see it? There's lighting up there. Now there's going to be guys chasing me, so I'm going to have to... I memorized it. I memorized it. I had to watch a video and memorize the, memorize the route. And I memorized the route, so I was going to straight forward. Keep running straight forward, because I can't stop. I, can't, I have no time to close doors, because I just open them. They don't bust them down. You get a quick run. Run, run, run. Once I get over this, it's it's good. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. Okay, now Fatso's gonna be here again. I'm gonna go to the left door here, bust it through. No need to panic. It's quick spam. Spam! 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 I made it to the vent. I'm just gonna push this bitch over this dead body, I don't know why. How'd you die in the vent, by the way? I don't know how you die in the vent like that. It's a pretty special spot to die. Alright. Okay, now... I'm gonna open this door. Little Timmy's gonna open the door because he just took his Xbox away from him. Just swearing at his mother. No dino nuggies for you, bitch. Yeah, quickly run away. Go hide in the cupboard or the corner, whatever you want to do. I don't want to mess up this jump, so I'm holding sprint, holding up on the stick, and I'm spamming A. I, I think it's like a 1% chance you fall there, but I'm not taking any chances on this run, because this is the final run I'm doing. Alright, now, now Diggling Boy is going to be busting through that door. As I said, if I don't do it this time, I am not doing this not doing this again. I'm not doing this again. This is just, this is the furthest I've ever been. He's got his butter out, he's got his dingling out, he's got his, you know, his little dingling. Nothing superior, it's a little dangling. Probably average, as you guys want to say. But his other brother was to my left, I've seen him there, I'm just not paying any attention to him. Pay attention to him, he's gonna try to touch you and know, stuff, but... My favourite part? The kitchen. Now, the kitchen's pretty nice, but I'm gonna be like that guy, I'm pondering life like that guy right now. Why am I doing this? Okay, I was gonna go to the... So one of these doors, I remember it's number six. Jump through the window and shimmy my way into the next next room, which the guy's praying, like I'm praying right now. Cause if you could just jump down and be finished with the game right there, I would do it. But obviously if you jump down there, you're gonna break your legs, probably break your neck. You'll be on your back for eternity, so yeah. Okay. That guy's sitting there and the diggling boys are to my right, and I'm gonna watch this guy get burnt. Now I'm going to quickly skip through this part of this guy sacrificing himself to Christ. So, yeah, be back in a second. Okay. He's burning himself on fire. Now apparently this is where it gets easier. <laughs> I know it gets easier here, man. The dingling bitches. Yeah, boy, you're not getting none of this booty, you're not getting none of this living, you're not getting none of this heart. You ain't getting shit, boy. You ain't getting shit. Quickly shit talk them, that's the last time I'm gonna see him. So I'm gonna quickly shit talk them bitches, you know what I mean? Like a hater at school, last time you see him on the last day of school. Alright, now fat boy's gonna see, I'm gonna see this fat bitch the last time I have to deal with him. I'm gonna go right down to the end, open this door, close it, wait for him at the other door. As soon as he busts through that door, I'm opening this door, and I am gone. I am gone. Oh my god. You shouldn't have... What the f... What sort of glitch is this? Why do I get all the glitches? I thought he was already in the room. Are you kidding me? Okay. Episode number two. Try number two. Wait for him to get behind me. Now I'm gone. That happened last night. What i just seen... What you probably just seen there. And I was... Oh my god, man. Like... 
it's so frustrating dying at the end. I never, I nearly gave up on this achievement. Nearly gave up on it. But I have to keep going. We're gonna go into the kitchen. Fat boy's favorite spot. I don't know why he's not here. Got to the elevator. Should be home free. And I'm gonna find another way out, which is very convenient, by the way. This is the last spot. He's showing, like we've seen on the camera at the start of the game, where the SWAT team got assassinated. Yeah, we're going through here. We're going to run away from the ghost, obviously. I don't know how we run away from a ghost, but... Okay, now... i got to wait for the ghost to come out of the left side, so I'm going to stand here. I don't want to run too far away from him because it's automated. Yep, as soon as the door's closed, I'm gone. i got to remember there's a couple of jumps. This barrel right here, i got to spam. Spam an A. I'm missing it. Another jump here. Spamming the hell out of A. I did it again. I'm gonna bust through this door. And fat fuck. Of course. Of course you're here. You heard there was food, you heard there was a free buffet. But this is my favorite part. This fat, disgusting, horrible pig. You he, he called me a pig when he has literally every feature of a pig and him getting assassinated best part of the game by the way best part see you later tits rest in piss never have to see you again yeah man that's probably, my, that's probably everyone's favorite part seeing that fat prick die such an asshole man such a freaking asshole now we're gonna see this old prick i don't know how he's still alive he's like a thousand years old the fossil just die already I have to listen to his rant. Like, we don't want to hear your rant, old man. We want to move on from this, bitch. Find a way to Billy. Billy's a bitch name, by the way. Alright. Gonna run through these blood-stained walls. And there's bitch boy. There's the, there's the ghost. I don't know how I'm out chasing him. No bother, no bother chase, like closing doors. Because closing doors here is no point. Quickly skip, slip between that. I know how he just does it. Just to send through all the things. I nearly went left there because I always say go left, but I went right and forward, and I am safe because we're in the chamber, the contamination chamber, far away from the game. This is just the last pinnacle. This is the this is the pinnacle of the game, the last part. You remember playing the Outlast DLC? This is where it starts. So yeah, we're gonna see Billy, in his little cry, in his little chamber. What is it? I can't remember what it's called. A reservoir. This life support the reservoir. I'm gonna get this document right now. Now, I'm going to quickly go get this. Now, as you've seen before, why I got the document is because I don't want to glitch. So you have to spam onto the hand part on the handprint. I don't know how he does it. I've got three fingers or four fingers on every hand. I'm going to quickly book it because he can get you there. I was going to jump down off the railings, but I thought any fall damage, I'm down. I'm done with any fall damage. So there's no point closing this door. There's really none. Quickly run. I've got to get through this. Past. Look at this boy, he's, a little, he's finger painting. Hey, Matt. hey buddy. Hopefully he stays alive. Good old buddy boy, he, he was a little innocent guy. But, again, I don't know where he is. Slip through here. And this is the last reservoir I have to turn on. The last with the life support. And I think I'm in the clear. Now, this is a big, long run up the stairs, so I'm going to cut through this, obviously. Okay, the jump, the final jump. Lucky, lucky I paused there and had a breather because if I didn't have a breather there, I could have been overwhelmed. As you can see, I've nearly got no battery. I don't want to waste all the battery just in case. I mean, like no battery in your thing means you can't get the achievement. Okay, <sighs> get rid of his life support, my ugly ass hands, and here he is. He's mad. He mad. I don't know how he's not descending, but he can't get me. Decontamination chamber. I am safe. For now. Okay. This is the final jump of the game. And... Oh my god. I don't know how we survive this, by the way. How do we survive that? How do we survive that fall? I don't know how we have the adrenaline with the... As I said, the adrenaline pushing us through. This is the final part of the game. This is legit it. 
after 15 to 20 attempts, it's over. It's over, unless I stuff up here, unless I stop holding spring, my hand feel holds up the controller. That's why I got the, that's why I got the document before, to get this. Bye bye, Billy. Yeah. This ghost just won't let it go. Billy, just let it go, mate. There's no point fighting it anymore, man. There's no point fighting it anymore. The game's done. My achievement, man. You hurt me all you want. And he just comes inside me just like that, by the way. Puts his entire body into my bowels. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. Now I am literally him. I am Billy. I'm Billy. But man, this is like legit the most happy I've been in ages. I'm literally shaking. I just can't believe it's finally over. Can you? Can you believe it's over? Oh Can you believe God. I got this achievement? That was the hardest achievement. In gaming history. I'm not joking. In horror, it's a horror game. This achievement took me about a week. I'm not gonna lie. The amount of times I've failed was disgusting. I'm here. I did it. The hardest achievement in gaming history. It's obviously our last two versions of it. If you want to see Outlast 2 version of this, smash that like button and I can do it. And I have to stream that because I can't do this alone, but again, my heart. The amount of times I had to do this was unbelievable. Hopefully my power doesn't go out, incident doesn't go out. Because something stupid could happen. But come on, hop along. I'm going to hop my way. I, I survived the most obese fat pig, aka Los Polos. I survived. I survived the ghost. I survived everything. I've survived two dingling warriors trying to molest me. I survived. I did it. 0.01% of the population have this achievement. Energizer. If it doesn't give me my achievement, I'm going to be so pissed. That just laid me out. Oh my god. Here it is. Here it is. Where is it? Where's my achievement? My game crash? My game crash. There is no way. Let's fucking go! Lunatic! Finish the game on insane mode. That is the that's the second hardest one, Miley. I did it. Here it is. Where is it? I didn't reload my battery. What? There it is. I was gonna. I was shocked. Energizer. Point zero point one five. Finish the game in insane mode without reloading your camera batteries, baby. Let's freaking go. I did it. God damn. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button for more achievements like this. I did it! Oh my god, I did it! Yes! Yes! Alright, catch you guys on the next one.